Say man, it's your boy Money Marrow. We here today with our new carburetor we putting on. We got a oh, all the glare, <laughs> but we got a Coso 30 millimeter carburetor. I bought this on eBay. Um, a few of my buddies that I race with and ride around with, they run this carburetor and they got even crazier builds than me. And they told me since I've been having an issue with the Makuni. Go ahead and upgrade to this. This is what we got. So it comes with the little boot and whatnot for it. A little tiny boot, it fits, you know. Boom, pop right now, look at that inside, it's polished too. You see that, look at that, that's nice. But yeah, it comes with a little boot and some extra jets here. It's our new carburetor right here. I'm gonna open it up and Make sure it fits. I was told that it fits a Makuni style throttle in. Thing I want to do is move the clip all the way down so we get extra spicy. You know, I can see that. Wait for it to focus a little bit. Alright. Boom, got the clip. Put it at the very bottom. That easy. Always just make sure it slides around a little bit. All right, so I just popped the little holes off. So see how tight these bolts are. Only two. Okay. Broke one. Let's break the other one. All right, so I just used an adjustable in the uh, flathead and I installed a 130 from my jack kit that I got over here that I got from Amazon and whatnot. You guys can see that, super blurry. But yeah, from Amazon, jack kit up to 55. So if we need that, it can go higher up. I'll put the 41 with the 130. So I'll we'll go ahead and put this back on. All right, so this is a setup that's gonna be going on the bike. Uh, you know, nice choke. Up and down real smooth. You know, nice carburetor boot made of real thick, nice rubber. Nice little hoses that come on it for the overflow and whatnot and etc. So, but yeah, I'm gonna run it without a cover so get the most airflow possible. If not, then just clean it out when, when it's time. And we should be good with the jet I put in it. I put the 41 and the 130. So, we should be good. You know, got the old jets and whatnot, the other jets right here. Put those up when it's time. I'm gonna put this on the bike. So I get to you with that in a second. All right, don't mind the wetness here. It, is, it rained earlier today where I'm at. So I just mocked up the carburetor. Well, not, not mocked it up. I'm mounting up the carburetor now. I uh, got it in the sleeve adapter that I got on here. The boot that came on it fit right in just fine. So what I didn't bring out was no twist tie. I mean, no zip ties. So I'm gonna have to 
I might take off that hose that's dangling so I don't get caught up in the wheel or nothing. This thing was already pretty snug already. Okay, clock pretty good. Now, now this, now this throttle cable. All right, got it. had to do some extra finagling. That was a little tighter than I thought it was. Oh, got it backwards once again. Okay, put that in there. Make sure I got that right. Put the other screw. Hey man, say man. So you see we got some push rides. You see we got Shar Shar torn down. And installing those chrome mollies. Like I said, I've been waiting for it. So we got our new PWK30 car. I've been teeing it up. And I was still teeing it up. I just put out the stock aluminums I said I've been using. And look at this thing. That thing is burnt. I mean, it was still running with the bent push rods. I got a clip from earlier today. It was still running. It's just I knew I had to change it. It was eating me up inside. I was like, I got to get to it right now. So I'm about to put this back on. Install them champs. These champs are perfect. Like best push rods ever. Like, I mean, best rockers ever. Like $23, bro. Yeah, this was the best upgrade I could have ever made. And mind you. 60 pound titanium, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, dog. With the 28, 25 valves. We about to go bigger soon, so just stay tuned for that. But I'm about to put it back together. We're going to get that beer ride and let's go.
This is amazing. You built this? Twenty-five years old. I'm sixty years old. Damn. It's filthy. I just brought. I just took it out. Just picked it up from a transmission shop. This thing is clean, bro. But it's all clean and done. Hey man, say man, it's your boy, Money Man. Um, we got just got back to the crib with Charlene's with the thirty OKC on it with the well PKW. Same shit though. But you know, we teeing it up with them chromolies and you know, all of our billet pieces and whatnot. Only thing is, I'm still working on the gear, so we're not fast off the line, as you guys can see in most of the clips. Um, so we got that big, I think it's a 54 tooth on it right now. About to try some different gearing options and see what we could do. Try to get a faster off the line speed and higher top speed right now. But because of how it's built, with the 18 inch tires in the bigger frame, I'm having a harder time reaching the RPM, turning the motor how I really want to. So, gonna play with some gear and options and get her up there, you know. We got her almost how I really want her, dang near. And if y'all seen in that last clip, that freaking truck, bro, that truck was ridiculously clean. He only showed out because he seen my little, you know, Charlene exhausted she was a bow, 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 at the gas station real quick and then also you know for the people that don't know i'm also a fire inspector so he seen me wearing my fire inspector shirt because i got off work not too long ago and he was like hey i'm part of the fire rescue two crew man i get it so that's why he even showed us and showed me what's going on with his motor the thing is ridiculous he got a 44 inch winnebago exhaust on his shit talking about wild i wish you guys could have heard how it sounds but i didn't want to put the man on camera or license plate in his truck and things like that but it was very nice though but hey y'all stay safe and i'll see you guys later y'all can hear in the background that's one of the fastest dirt bikes do you hear that that's one of the fastest dirt bikes that live around me i've ever seen like his shit what if y'all thought my shit was crazy his fucking dirt bike a two-stroke is wild bro but hey i'm gonna see y'all man y'all be safe money man room out on phone now.